I'm Jill with the Treasure Box, yeah. and we, um, I'm going to do a class for you guys today. So I'm let me let so me I'm tell you how uh, this is going to work. We are. This is the kit that we have sent out this month, and we. It's the first two pages of it. Next week, I'll do the middle two pages, and then the third week, I'll do the third two pages. So what we need to do is you need to subscribe to my this YouTube if you like this, because then it will send you reminders, and then you'll get to always see them, and it'll be really cool, and it will be good for me, too, okay? All right. Otherwise, we're going to put this on our Facebook, and you can go back and forth and actually make your designs and how you want to do them with these instructions. So I want you to know that we are the treasure box. And if you want to be part of our club, we'd love for you to be part of our club. Um, you go to www.gototreasurebox.com and you can see our great six page layouts for the club. You can also see our two page layouts and we have paper also. Okay, so let's get started. Let me Pull this down. Okay. So now you can see my papers. Okay. All right. This is what you're going to get in your kit that we need to use for right now. We're doing these two pages. These two. So it's the Easter spring and it's the wires. And we're going to do it. It's lots of fun. I, I love working with wires. So in your kit, you have your paper, your set of instructions. Oops, I just put this backwards. Okay, so your instructions, and then that's the finished product. And I have some up close of the, the actual wire flowers we're going to make. So we're going to take our paper and the instructions. You have some buttons that you're going to use on these two pages. These are the following die cuts we're going to use on them. We have a feather and a bird, three little tulips, and a rain boot we have a, a water can a rain or a umbrella a birdhouse and you can't see this very well because it's white but he's a bunny it is easter okay so and then you have your three wires that you need we're going to work with those these are all of the tools that you're going to need to make these two pages a pair of scissors um, i used a blue pin for one point and the black pin a white pen, a real skinny one, and a medium, my paper piercer. I always have a ruler because I'm OCD and that's okay. And then I use these six colors on what we're doing. A dark blue, which is blue Hawaiian. I use powder puff, but any kind will work. Um, pink cheeks is the pink I used. White, uh, Bloody Mary for the red. It's a really dark red, burgundy. Amaretto is a brown, and cool gray is for the gray. And then I use Fantastics. Um, they're just a little pencil dauber, and they're my favorite. You need pop-up glue dots and regular glue dots, and we're good to go. Oh, well, sorry, and always a crimper. Always, always a crimper. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ink. And we're going to ink. Let's start with our rain boot and our three little tulip heads. Okay, so we're going to want to use the rainbow. We're going to use some gray and we're going to ink it. See how cool these fantastic daubers are. They are fantastic. Anyway, they're great. Okay, so you're going to do your rainbow like that. And, and then I'm also, because I want a little bit more to the rain boot, I'm going to put some white along the bottom here. And just a tiny bit, just at the top. Okay, so that's those inking that we're going to do. We're going to do some on our our tulips. We're going to just, they're going to add a little bit of color so they're not all yellow. OK. 
okay so you can see okay can you see that does that work okay all right so what i've done is i've inked the rain boot and the three flowers that are there the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add pen work I'm going to use my black pen and I'm going to do dots and dashes all the way around it. When you were a little kid in primary school, you outlined every coloring job you did. That's basically what we're doing here. Okay, so I'm going to outline that. And then I want to this little top, I'm going to add just a little thing to it. And I'm going to separate where we added our white on the bottom here. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for these little tulips. I'm going to add it so it goes down a little bit. Dot and dash all around the outside edges. And then bring it down so it looks like the little petals. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. <coughs> Let me hold these up so that you can see it really good. Right there. Is that good? Okay. We good on that? Okay. Um, now what we're gonna do, you're gonna do the same thing for our little umbrella. This is kind of what I call prep work. And you can see why I wanted Bloody Mary because it's a nice burgundy. And I'm gonna do my, my handle pretty dark. Okay, now I'm going to also do this because I want the spines. This is what I really love about these daubers. You can make little lines. It's really going to stand out. Watch when I add the pen work on it. My dots and dashes. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of pin work right here on the hem. Very nice, cool. Okay, we should add just a little bit. Oh, I forgot to add my white colors. So I'm gonna take my pen. I've got an 05 and an 08. Let's see, I think on this one, I'm gonna use my 08 because it's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do some, just some little lines so that it helps it show up a little better. Let's do a little cluster of three little dots here. Maybe a little highlight on the toe of the boot. Okay, can you see that? All right. Now I'm going to do some on my umbrella. Okay, so you can see how fun they are. This is what makes kind of it, brings it personally to life. Okay, can you see that? All right, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do the paint can. Now that you guys are pros at inking and adding pen work. So I'm gonna do my can. I always just go around the outside edge first. Okay, and then I'm going to want this to be a little darker there. I'm going to want actually my handle to come down a little bit. And it may not look like much yet, but you'll see it will be. Okay, so that's kind of the first step. 
Okay. I'm going to add the pen work. And this is where I'm going to draw my handle down first. And I'll do the outside of the can. And I'm going to do where I darkened it here. And then we'll put some dots inside so that we can spray our water can out. Water our plants. And I'll separate the handle a little bit. And I want to make my little where we had the inside of the can. Okay, and then, oh wait, I think I want to have a, oh, well, there we go. Oh, now it looks like a real handle. Okay, I'm going to use my little bit wider pen, and I'm going to do some, so that the white really shows up here. Right where this would highlight underneath the lip, and we'll do one like right here. Okay. And here's our can. Okay. Looks a little different from when we started. And that's how it comes to life. All right. So that's now I want you to put the can that I just inked the birdhouse and the bunny and the bird. Okay. So now we've got them all inked. Now I'll move these out of the way. We've got them all inked. I'm going to go ahead and add my pen work my birdhouse. And I've got a place where they can eat through it. And, and then I'm going to very lightly I'm going to draw some lines to make some boards because we have paneling on our birdhouse. Okay, and that looks really good, but we can have it even better if we add just a little bit of color right where we drew our lines. Okay, right here. There. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for our bunny. We want to give her some cute insides of her ears. And I'm going to daub on her little tail a little bit. And I think that's good. We'll give her an eye. And where did my pen go? All right. Oh, here it is, right in front of me. Okay. We're going to give her a little eye. And I think I'm going to kind of go along the lines that I put my little pink on. And maybe do some little squeakies right there. Okay. Oh, super cute. Okay. So the bunny is done. That, 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 that. The bird, she needs an eye. And she's done. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do next is my favorite thing to do. Oh, let me show you up so close. Okay. See them all. All right. Now we're going to crimp the bunny because we want her to have lots of texture. If you've been in any of my classes, when you're in our club, you know I love to crimp. It's magic. See how it's all crimped now, but I want her to be lots of crimp, so. I'm going to crimp her in a couple different directions. Let's do one more. And then I'm going to kind of smooth her out with my finger so that she has a cross hatching look to her. Okay. All right. Okay. Our die cuts are now all done. So, what we're going to do is what we will do when we're done is we're going to pop up all of these and we will put them on our page. But next, we're going to make some flowers. Thank you.
Okay. All right. First, we're going to make the, 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 the green that goes here and the green that goes here. It's going to be, we're going to use the green wire. It's really, really nice wire. I love it. Okay. So we're going to take this green wire. The first thing we need to do, it's pretty long. Okay. All right. It's in two pieces. So what we're going to do, we have to cut eight one-inch pieces. Okay. This is how we're going to, we hold them together. This is how we hold the wire in place is we're going to make brads with these little one inch pieces. Okay. So that's how we're going to do it. So the first thing we're going to do, and this is really nice wire because it doesn't wreck our scissors. So there's two, four, six, and eight. Great. Okay. Now we're going to Okay, now we're going to take this and we're just going to cut them so that they're four separate pieces. So you have four of them here. Okay, now if you want them to smooth them out, you can smooth them out or you can take them on a pen, run it along it and it will smooth them out really nice. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take our pen and one wire and we're going to wrap it all the way around. Slide it down, wrap it all the way around, slide it down. So we have a coil. So we're going to want to make four coils because we have four of these green, um, I'm going to call them vines. So we'll make four coils. Okay, one more. Don't forget, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have our coils. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these coils one at a time, and we're just going to kind of spread out the coils. I'll turn this one this way. Turn this one this way. Turn one this way. Uh... You can see I'm, I'm really taking my time figuring out which way to turn them. Ta-da. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. And then even if it wasn't perfect, all you have to do is straighten it out and do it again. Okay. So here's one coil. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to be putting it right on here on this page. Okay. So let me make up my second one here. Same thing. I'm going to turn it, turn it a different direction, this one a different direction. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Another perfect coil. Okay. So we're going to kind of stretch it out a little bit, smash it down. Okay. And. We're going to lay it just like that. Perfect. Wow. Okay. Now I'm going to take my cork board and my paper piercer because we want these to stay in place. But we don't want to put glue dots or anything on it because then they'll see it. So we want to just stick them in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to take for each coil we did, we're going to take two brads that we're going to make and we're going to hold it in place. So I think I want to hold it right here in place. So I'm going to poke a hole here and poke a hole here. Then I'm going to take my one inch piece of wire, fold it in half to a V or a U. I guess that's a U. And my paper with my new. So, um, if you need to find a crimper, um, Joanne's online has crimpers. Um, also, Amazon 
had crimpers. I'm not sure right now if they have them, but I do know they have them. Crimpers are, uh, crimpers are awesome. I think everybody should have one and maybe a backup one in case it breaks, which they never break. Okay. Um, if you have a really, really difficult time, let me know because we have about five or six left from when we used to sell them. And we can, you have to pay shipping on Amazon and Joann's, you don't have to pay shipping. Okay, do you see how it holds into place? I just folded the brads out and now it's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna stay in place. I'm gonna do my second one now. I think I'll hold it right here. And right here. You have to put it in two different places because if you only did it in one, then it would swing back and forth. And we don't want it to be a pendulum. Okay. What you need to do is have shorter fingernails. Hopefully, we can have them cut soon. Okay, there we go. And for our second one here. And we're going to secure it right here. So you can see, I push it down like that. And then on the back side, I pull them out. Cool. Okay. So we have both of them sitting here. Perfect. Just like that. Take your other two and do the other page in the other corners. And you will have both of your pages ready. Now we're going to make some flowers. Okay. Because when you look at these, five leaf flowers and three leaf flowers both of blue and red so on each how I did it is on each page they each have a five leaf red and a five leaf blue and and they each have a four three leaf no wait one two two leaf blue two leaf red on each page okay so let me show you how you make them because it's not that difficult. We're going to do it easy. Okay, just in case I need to secure one of mine in place. I don't think so, but just in case I'd hate to run out of my wire. Okay, so I'm going to make the five one first. You're going to need about seven inches. I'm not measuring completely okay we're just kind of doing a little bit and then for my ones about five or so and you'll cut up all of the red and all of the blue wire just like that okay so we're going to make this flower i'm going to make a couple for you so that you get it you're going to want to use something littler than a pen there's different dimensions here this one is just a little bit littler so i want to use it all right I'm going to make a loop. There's my loop. Okay. Now I'm just going to make another loop. And I have two loops. I think I'll make another loop. Three. I think I'll turn that one like that. Another loop. Four. And this is my five loop flower. So it's gonna have my fifth loop. And then I'm gonna take my two ends and twist them together. Okay. And I'm gonna shape my little petals so that they're super cute. That's my five loop flower. Okay. The three loop is the same thing, only we're just doing, obviously, three loops. 
one, two, three, twist it together, make your loops pretty, and there's your three loop. Okay, all right, let's do it again. Okay, give me a, about a seven inch piece, and then a, about a five inch. Okay, we're gonna do the five loops. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now I can make them around in a circle. Just adorable. Okay. Okay, there's our five leafer. Notice they're always going to be different. Okay, our three, one, two, three. Put them together. Okay. You're going to make two five leaf blue ones, two five leaf red ones, and then four of each of these. Oh yeah, okay. And then you're going to put them on. So on each page, we have one of this and one of this and two of these and two of these. This is how you're gonna hook them onto the actual page. This looks like a good place to put my one. So I put it down and I take where I twisted it 